Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. I am back on the road and continuing my journey west back to Williams, Arizona. It's an overcast, gloomy day, which is nice for traveling. We are traveling on backcountry roads right now, so it's very scenic. We'll be stopping in Lawrence, South Carolina, which is 18 miles from where we were camping just to do a pit stop. There's a Walmart there. I'm gonna run in and grab some supplies. And then we'll probably get back on the road. Look at the eastern red buds in bloom. How beautiful is that? I stopped and grabbed gas. It was 304 here at Walmart, $79 to fill up. Like I said, we're gonna run in, grab some supplies, and then get back on the road. Well, that was a fail. The only thing I got was raspberries. Their organic section was lacking. They didn't even have organic bananas. But anyways, that's why I usually like going to regular grocery stores like Kroger's and stuff. They have more of an organic selection because I was looking for organic mayonnaise. Nope. Looks like Dave's done running his errands and ready to go. Okay, Dave sent the pin and we are headed to our next spot, Take which next is way. in 37 miles. Actually very excited to be heading back west. It's been a fun stay here at the East Coast for the winter, but I do have some plans and I'll share that later of what I'll be doing. For the summer. Make a left up here. Take the next left onto Rocky Springs Church Road, then turn left onto Curry Road. Huh. <laughs> so it's the turn there, Dave. Oh, it's good thing. He... Yeah, this is a scenic turn. Good thing he didn't turn here because I think I see a railroad up ahead. There was a sign. Take the next left onto Curry Road. <laughs> oh look, there's Dave. <laughs> That's what I mean about our GPSs. Continue for one and a half miles. They don't always take us in the same direction. But I believe it's in the settings. I might have the shortest route and he might have a different route. There's, I think, three or four different things you can choose or options. Oh, look at all the jasmine in bloom, the yellow flowers to the left. Ooh, cows. This is definitely a backcountry road. Hello, pretty cows. So we have about a mile and a half and then we're gonna be making a right. Oh, it's nice back here. I like old country roads. It is very narrow though. Earlier. Continue on South Carolina 49 North for eight miles. And we have still about 38 miles left on the trip. But I think we will be getting back on 25 and heading west have to take a few of these back roads to get there. Yeah, it is pretty through this area. We're getting closer to North Carolina, that's why. And the mountains. Spartansburg to the left, Columbia to the right. 
Getting back on 26 and heading west. Turn left onto the I-26 West ramp, then merge onto I-26 West. Straight ahead is 49 or truck detour Route 56. All right, that was a nice jaunt on some country roads, but it's good to be on the interstate and getting to where we need to get to. Got 25 miles left on the trip. Well, there are a lot of eastern red buds all through the forest. You can see them along the edge. They're just like creeping out along with the jasmine vine. Golden Jasmine Vine. Okay, Memo, you can come out. Come on. You go pee pee? Stretch a little bit? <laughs> well, go ahead. What you waiting for? Go pee pee. You gonna pee in the bushes? Remember, there's grass over here. Come on. <laughs> Silly. These are the longest RV spots I've ever seen. I still have room. Like, another car could fit back there. Especially if I move up a little bit. Yeah, they're pretty long, but they only have three spaces here. So this will be our overnighting spot and then we'll continue on. It really has turned into a chilly day today because there's no sun. If there was sun, it would probably be nice, but yeah, it's kind of chilly. Good thing I'm bundled up. Wow, a beautiful landscape they have here. Look at that Japanese maple. I think that's the fullest one I've ever seen. The foliage is so beautiful. Look at that deep burgundy and look at the sour cherries over here they are completely in bloom uh, time to go in for a little bit it's starting to rain or drizzle well it's just ended up being a gloomy day it finally stopped drizzling and it is very chilly out there it is dinner time and jeff decided to make some spaghetti it looks yummy yummy spaghetti and i made some garlic toast to go with that. What's the problem? I'm putting that back in there. I had to get the garlic done. bread out. It's not done. Yeah, it's done. Now what are you doing? Cutting the garlic bread. Okay. It looks like good garlic bread. Oh, it's yummy garlic bread. Okay. Easy peasy garlic bread. Just sour cream, garlic powder, and sharp cheddar. Yum. On sourdough. Okay, dinner served. Look how steamy, steamy the spaghetti is. Nice and hot. Oh, it's missing um, Parmesan. Dang it, I'm out of Parmesan. Good morning, everyone. It is another gloomy day. We just got through taking the dogs for a long walk. And now we're going to go get some breakfast before we get back on the road. Thank you. So I've about tried everything here at Cracker Barrel. It's we eat here a lot just because we overnight a lot so try to make it a point of either eating here or at least buying something there's a um a candy bar that i really like here so i buy a couple because they only sell them here anyway sorry the waitress came by but the candy bar that i like is a marshmallow cup it's um i'll show you later i'm going to try to order something different but one of my usuals is the grandma sampler they do have the chicken and french toast which looks yummy Chicken and French toast look good, but I decided on Mama's breakfast, which comes with a full order of French toast with bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs, and yum yum, my favorite French toast. I had strawberries added to it. Okay, time to dig in and get back on the road. Jeff got the same thing, but no strawberries. Ugh, I think I might have eaten too much, but it was delicious. Did you enjoy yours? Yeah? 
This Cracker Barrel is set up different. The store's on the opposite side. Where's that candy? Oh, usually it's in the center here. Do you see that candy I use? Oh, here it is right here. Oh my God, these are so good. Vallow milk, they're so gooey. They're, it's not like hard marshmallow, it's gooey marshmallow. I was gonna grab some, but I can't think of anything else sweet since I just had that French toast. Spoiled, spoiled doggies. Jeff saved them a little bit of bacon. We don't give them too much because it's not really that great for them, but a little doesn't hurt. Are you going to get the crumbs, Kellogg? Mm -hmm. Mum was looking at you like, hey. Yeah, you got enough, Mum. That's it. You don't need that much of that. Is there a light on the other side or just go out this way? Let me just go out to the street here and turn right. So the next spot is actually a Walmart and it's RV friendly. It's not too far from here. In 600 feet, turn right onto South 525 Bear Forest Road. Yeah, it's only three and a half miles from where we are now. Whoa, look at that truck and it's huge tires. Okay. Thank you, Cracker Barrel. That was a nice, peaceful night's sleep. In a quarter mile, keep left to continue on West Cleveland Street. Gas here is 318, but I already filled up. Well, I've got about, it's right under full. Wow, look at that building. What is that? Pretty cool, though. Reminds me of that old brick abandoned home, just like... At the light, turn left on the bigger. Street State Road as... Okay. Let's cross over these railroad tracks. Gotta take a left here. I'm barely off the railroad tracks. I hate railroad tracks that are right at a light. Okay, here we go. At the light, turn right onto South Carolina 295 South, West Blackstock Road. Left, right, oh. left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. Ouch. In 300 feet, Turn left onto South Carolina 295 North. I'm not going under that bridge. Left onto South Carolina 295 North, then turn right onto Railroad Street. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Bud White Way. Sorry, I was not paying attention. Oh, look at that old building. That looks like a prison or something. Okay, so it's saying just go up and around. I was not paying attention and missed my turn trying to mess with my stupid mic. Stupid mic! Okay, hopefully this will get us in the direction we need to go. It will. And I don't have to do any U-turn. It's kind of hard on this big rig. Well, at least it's a beautiful scenic drive. <laughs> okay, we've made it. Our three and a half mile trip turned into seven. Take the second left, then turn right. But you know what? We made it here safe and sound, and that's what really matters. Wow, look at all the pink cherry blossoms. How beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, where's Dave? I don't see him. Where did you park? There's a lot of parking back here by the uh, automotive center. 
on the right hand side of the building by the garden, behind the garden center. There's a bunch over here too. Okie dokie, we're headed that way. Well, we're here and the reviews online make it seem that this is an RV friendly place. So, I'm not sure if we're going to stay here or not or if we want to do more traveling. We do want to kind of slow it down a bit because Asheville is not that far from here. And that's where we're going to kind of part ways. So, we'll see. Memo, look it. Wow, this is like the deepest pond I've ever seen. It's extremely deep. Oh, there's actually geese down there. It's starting to warm up, so I took my scarf and jacket off. I think I'm gonna take the vest off as well. It actually feels nice outside. The sun will come out today. Bet your bottom dollar, it's today. <laughs> so the sun has come out and we've decided to just get back on the road and do a little bit more traveling. We'll be- Turn right onto Dorman Center Drive. Sure. We'll be going to Hendersonville. Well, I definitely wouldn't mind coming back and visiting Spartansburg. It seems like a really cool town. There was one thing I really wanted to check out while I was here, but that's going to go on the other channel. It was a beautiful, beautiful free botanical gardens. And we went and visited that and did a tour. It was very relaxing. Such a beautiful place to go and visit. So, yeah, that'll be going on Garden Days. To Asheville. Oh my God, that is like the quickest light to change, but the longest to wait at. I think it's only green for five seconds. That's it. If that. I mean, the first vehicle gets through the traffic light and, and then it's already turning yellow. We found a faster route via I-26 West, which saves one minute. So we're going to be getting back on 26 West and heading into Asheville, which I can't remember if I mentioned it or not. It's 45 minutes or 45 right miles. To sorry. The I-26 West ramp, then merge onto I-26 West. Will do. Use the right lane to take the I-26 West ramp, then merge onto I-26 West. Thank you, Charlie. So my GPS is telling me to take this exit and get on US-176. That's because of the construction ahead. Uh, oh, the construction, so is that what you're taking as well? I'll just stay on the freeway. Oh, just stay on the freeway? The, the freeway shows nine minutes slower. Oh, okay, well then I'll just go the nine minutes slower. Yeah, they're probably wrapping up the construction. <laughs> okay, will do. Asheville, 59 miles. So they said it uh, slows down about, or takes you nine more minutes, but uh, my GPS told me it takes about 15 more minutes, but this is still the fastest route. Oh, here goes the slowdown. I think I'm gonna get over in the other lane. Usually the left lane goes a bit faster, hopefully.
Well, that's something I haven't seen in a while. Mountains in the distance. Welcome to the Appalachian Mountains. Well, that's confusing, saying get over, but I guess they've already removed it. Welcome to North Carolina. Welcome to North Carolina. Thank you, Charlie. Oh, okay. Now it's... I'm trying to let this car either... Okay, they're going to let me go. Here it is. Yay, we made it to North Carolina. I'm glad. So Asheville is 45 miles and we have about 20 more miles left on this trip. There is uh, first rest area. Wow, that's up on a hill. A lot of homes spread throughout the mountains up there. Glad to be going through the mountains. It's very beautiful here. Jeff just told me there's a 6% grade getting ready to happen. Wow, look how beautiful it is through here. All the chartreuse colors dotted through the landscape. It's the new leaves starting to emerge. Is this what he was talking about? This, this oh no, so, oh, it's 6% uphill. Okay. Saluda, seven, Hendersonville, 17, and Asheville, 38. Climb, climb, climb. You got this, Lucky. Pass, pass, pass. All right, I think the left lane is supposed to be closed up here. I thought it was at the beginning, but I guess not. Get back over. Oh yeah, this is definitely a steep pass. And the view is pretty out there. Wow, look at all the trees. Pass, pass, pass. Oh, oh, nope, slowing down up here. Oh, no, okay. Oh, here's just popped. All right, let me get over. Well, I probably should have stayed in that lane. No, it's fine. Yeah, I'll actually stay in that lane. Those are going faster, even though the, I think it's just the far left lane that's closed. But the trucks are definitely going slower. So I'll just keep up with the traffic. Yay, we made it to the top. Oh, now it's gonna be, uh, I think it's 6% downhill. Okay, I'll let the truck go ahead of me. Oh, it's actually gonna end, so he needs to get over. I'll let him get over. Go ahead. There wasn't much of a lane closure at all. So it's saying 55 through here. Okay, we'll just glide on down. I do have it in tow haul mode, so that helps with the gearing. Yeah, I shouldn't even have to put on my brakes. Oh, 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 well, I'll have to accelerate though because there's another uphill right here. Yay, fun mountain pass. Historic downtown Saluda is the next exit. I saw on the sign there is a bed and breakfast there. Welcome to Henderson County. We have about eight more miles left until we reach our exit. 
Fletcher is 19 miles, Asheville 33. Oh wow, 7% downhill. Entering Green River Gorge. Okay. So it says speed limit 45, I'm going 50, so I'm gonna slow down just a bit. Hey, you're not supposed to be in that lane, mister. Oh, and they're doing some road construction here too. Guess they're widening the bridge. We made it out of the pass. I have a love-hate relationship with the, any pass, actually. It's really bad on your, or hard on your motorhome, but it, they're so, usually just so beautiful. Take exit 49. All right, here we are at our exit. Welcome to Hendersonville. Okay, we've made it to our stopping point. Wow. It's the second place with all the cherry blossoms. Just beautiful. Makes me want to plant some back at home. Well, it is definitely a cool, breezy morning. Yesterday and today are the coldest days. It's supposed to start warming up, but then again, we have started coming into the mountains and at higher elevation. I think it's like 2,000 feet elevation here in Hendersonville. So we're gonna get back on the road. It was a great night stay here, um, right across from Walmart. It um, got pretty quiet after, I think, 10 p.m. So not bad at all, and no knock on the door, which is amazing. But like I said, we're gonna be getting back on the road. And the time has come to say bye to Dave and Bella. It's been an amazing winter in Texas and in Florida and hanging out with Dave, but it just seems like time has flown by. It's sad to say bye, but he's got to go back up to Pennsylvania and we've got to head back west. And this is kind of, we could have um, split up earlier, but we kind of wanted to travel more together. And this is kind of the point where, you know, we both have to split ways. All right, Dave's getting his car hooked back up and we'll tell him bye. Actually, we'll wait on him to get everything hooked up, make sure everything's good, and we'll pull out of here together and then we'll split ways. We'll wait on you to get hooked up and we'll all pull out together and stuff. But I just wanted to give you a hug, bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Eh. Bye. We'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> Time is here. Ooh, that wind is cold today. Yeah, it just makes sense that, yeah, it's close to 40. Y'all are taking 40, you know. Right, yeah. This is where y'all go last, this is where I go north. Right, exactly. Whoa, that's loud. Bye, Bella. I'll see you next winter. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. It's like, we better, we yeah. better. Time to go back to Pennsylvania, huh? <laughs> huh? We'll see everybody again one of these days. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget your nomads. Yeah. and like to travel. Don't get stuck in Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, he got his car hooked up and we just sat in the rig for about 30 minutes and talked about our winter <laughs> adventures. But, yep, time to get on the road and get further west. We've got, ugh, like almost 2,000 miles to go before we get back home. And Dave doesn't have that far. I think it's like a little over 500. Hello? Hi, how are you doing, honey? Hey, Mama, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How about you? Good. We're in North Carolina. I'm gonna huh? we're North, North Car Carolina. Yeah, we Ooh. were we were in Florida this winter. Remember? Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. You so traveled from here to all over the place, huh? Yeah, we did. You went to South Carolina. Uh, yeah, I went back to Myrtle Beach. Oh my God, the house looks so different. Really? I know they renovated the house. Yeah, yeah. They, and they cleared all the trees out. Oh, they do? Yeah, wow. every, every single tree was cleared out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but it's it looks cool, nice right? though. Use the right two lanes to turn right really? on US 64 yeah. West, Chimney Rock Road. Oh, yeah. Because they bought that uh, house already. Yeah, yeah. So. The people who renovate that, that's really good, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad somebody's in it that likes the house and is taking care of it. Yeah, you should do that, you know. I mean to say, you know, you should renovate 
yourself, you know? Yeah, it's but I, think, I just, I mean, I was traveling. I didn't have the time for it and stuff. Oh, uh, I know, I know. Your basic, yeah. yeah. So how's everything in Texas? Oh, it's great, yeah, great, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. The right two lanes to turn right onto US 64 West, Chimney Rock Road. Oh, you're driving back? Yeah, I'm, um, we're just getting back on the road. I've uh, got to, we're going to head into Tennessee today and visit some friends. Oh, okay. I'll let you go right now. Okay. okay. Hey, I'll call you back. I'll call you back later today. Okay. Thank you. Love you. I love you too. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Love you too, Mama. Bye-bye. Okay. Well, that was nice talking to my mom. That's a nice surprise. I'm gonna go ahead and get back on 26. Dave is in the lead, but only till we get to Asheville, which is not far, 20 miles or so. And then we, that's where we'll go we'll our go separate right ways. To take the I-26 West ramp, then merge onto I-26 West. Oh, what's going on here? Road closed. Oh. Oh, they're fixing the ramp. Well, it's definitely a beautiful sunny day, but very windy. Look at the box rolling down the road. Very windy and just cold. But luckily this is the supposedly the last cold day and then it's supposed to start warming up. Oh, well, we got 15 more miles until we part ways. This is nice traveling a little bit with day before heading our own ways. Up oh, here we go. One more mile. Yep. Bye you guys. We love ya. I got you too. We'll see you down the road sometime. All right, have a great summer. Bye, you too. Bye, thanks. All right, there they go. Off to Pennsylvania. It was such an amazing winter. We had a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed the change of scenery. We finally made it to 40. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with us. Hopefully we'll see you next time here on Pandemonium. If you want to check out more videos, they'll be popping on the screen now. Or if you want to subscribe or check out Patreon. Thanks y'all. See you next time. Hopefully we'll be getting into Tennessee.